and this is Jen and Jen is going back to Swedish and Sweden for this matter because today we are talking about at least five weird or nasty Swedish foods and we're starting off bad really bad because we're starting with Sustrimi. Number one, Sustrimi. I looked up a few things about this because I've seen tons of videos uh, about Sue streaming and also a few other things and that already made it that I did not want to eat it because it apparently stinks bad. It's so bad that you're not allowed to transport it in public transport. I mean, it, if you're not allowed to transport it in public transport, you know enough. That ain't good. But according to the internet, the internet these days, this is what Sustrami is, and also a bit of a description of something else regarding Sustrami. But Sustrami is a fermented sour Baltic herring, and it is famous for its strong smell and acidic taste. And a Japanese have done a research about this one also, and according to them, um, it's one of the most protruding food smells in the world and even stronger as Korea's fermented stingray called Hongre or, and the Japanese dried fermented fish which is called Kusaya. Now I might have said these both wrong but apparently it stings even worse and the taste apparently is very strong. Now, if you're curious and you want to see all these, some of these videos, but you need a stomach for this because the thing is, people open this outside, so in their garden, they open this and literally everybody stays the f away from this. They are not getting near it. They don't want it in their house because it smells very strongly. And there are people that actually puke as soon as they smell this. So that explains quite a lot. And, um... I've never tried it. I'm not a fish person, so I probably will never try it either. The next one is also fish related. And that is colors caviar in a tube. But then, what is it? Blend, it put in a blender basically. Just basically fish roux chuck in a blender. And I can't remember when I just moved here, somebody told me to try it and put it on like a cracker thingy, which is, to be honest, a weird idea. And I tried it and it tasted nasty. I've had coffee art before, like quite good one even, and this was just a no, 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 no. As soon as you put stuff in it, chup, it's weird. And they put this stuff in a tube. Also, other things they put in the tube that shocked me a bit was butter. No, not butter. Some kind of cheese. And tomato puree. I'm, I'm used to have it in a box, but sure, whatever. Just put it in a bloody tube. Other things they put in a squeezy tube, for example, is jam. Strawberry jam. Raspberry jam, you can find it in a tube. You can find it in a pot, but it's common in a tube. I only seen people eat it from the tube thing like this. So, okay, weird, but whatever. If, if that, that's how you roll, sure. Besides that, it tastes normal, nothing strange to it, it's the same. Then we have another weird ass thing. I've had this once, and it's called in Swedish, Smurgostorta which basically translates as a sandwich cake a sandwich cake and at first it's not that strange i mean it's just bread with like uh, what is salad and stuff on it but they use literally so much mayonnaise that you can't taste anything else than mayonnaise one of the things i actually really don't like is mayonnaise and they drench it in mayonnaise. I'm like, why do you guys do this? What, what's the reason for making a sandwich cake? You just make a sandwich. 
I thinking too easy? I'm not sure. It's weird. Um, and the last thing is mostly like it's one of these lazy dishes that people make and they don't really want to like cook anything. Every country has their own. For example, in, in the UK, they have uh, well, is it beans uh, in tomato sauce on bread or, or something like that? Sweden has their own thing. And that's called macaroni with meatballs and ketchup. And yes, I'm saying ketchup as in tomato ketchup. Uh, it's a bit weird, but sure, I guess. Fine, I've seen people eat it and I personally am not really into something like this. But whatever, if, if, you, if that's your thing, fine. Now the other not so weird thing, um, not super weird, I'm actually one of the weird, oh yeah, wait, now I forgot, there is a sixth thing, and that is licorice ice cream. Who came up with licorice ice cream? And people eat this, and I tried it, I'm not a fan of licorice, but it, no, don't do this, don't destroy ice cream like this <laughs> worst idea ever and i still don't get why people eat this but yeah don't buy it don't try it if you don't like licorice stay away from this monstrosity called ice cream now last but not least it's a bit of it's it's not really weird but this is something you see a lot in sweden is that they um do a lot of weird combination things like cookies with specific tastes and this is one of them uh, i haven't tried it somebody did eat it but they gave it to me, they gave it to me kind of so this is called ballerina canal villa which is basically a cookie flavored in Cinnamon then. Normally I think this is one with chocolate, but they replaced it with cinnamon bun. And this is how it looks like. And I'm, I'm basically just gonna try it now. It's, it smells like cinnamon, so I mean, couldn't be wrong. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. Mm. I think they left the chocolate in there somewhere. Because this, that's weird. No. 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 Don't. Company who made this, stop. That's wrong. Not good. Oh yeah. Now, now that we, I need to rinse my mouth off this. Now that we have tried this amazing uh -huh cookie, we also have this other thing, which I actually do love. I'm very picky in my sweets and my, my, my snacks. So I don't really snack much in Sweden because I don't like snacks, but this is the one I do like. And this is Marabou, which is the most popular type of chocolate in Sweden with I think raspberries yeah I think it's raspberries in it and that is actually really good that is something you should try if you see chocolate with like a fruit like a strawberry or a raspberry try it out because it, it's very like you have the the more bitterish taste of the chocolate with a very sweet explosion in your mouth really good Good combo. That's something they did well. So that is my video for today about weird foods in Sweden. And I'm standing in my brand new kitchen. Don't look at that. That, that, that needs to be removed. <laughs> but I'm happy to be home and um, I'm happy to have my kitchen done. And I'm going to throw this away, preferably burn it, but I don't have a burner for that. So I wish you guys all a nice day. And I, if you have any weird foods in Sweden that you have had tried or that 
you say that you should never try, just put it down in the comment section below so I need to know what to avoid even more. And this is something I found out like after three years in total living here. These are the foods that I definitely don't recommend you at all. Stay away from it. And um, I hope you guys all a good day. And I hope I wish you guys a good day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.